going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So I got some really good news. I know you guys are aware of my side skirt being missing and I actually got a new side skirt in the mail. So here is basically a used, already painted white side skirt for my WRX and usually to get my hands on one of these side skirts unpainted would be around $200 for one side skirt. And to paint it, who knows, it'd probably be like another like 100 to 200 bucks to get it paint matched that pearl white that I have under this wrap. So in total, if I were to get this brand new, it would be around $400 easily, no doubt. But thank goodness for eBay and used parts, I found this side skirt for only $95 and it was already paint matched. I literally saved probably two to $300 easy. So I'm super stoked I got this. This actually came off an STI and there was no confirmation that it actually fits a WRX, but I called a couple friends and we kind of agreed that the WRX and STI share the same body panels for 2011 and up. So this one is a 2012, fortunately. So hopefully it fits, we'll see. Sick. Here it is, guys. The guy that shipped it obviously didn't really clean it that much. I mean, they probably cleaned it as much as they could. But like, you can see the dirt on it, which is fine. Like, I don't even care. As long as I actually have a side skirt. Um, this does look um, very white, though. It's not necessarily this, I don't think it's the same white as my WRX, because I think the WRX is more of like a satin pearl. This actually looks more like a brilliant white. That might be an issue when I unwrap the car or if I do un end up unwrapping the car, which at this point I don't think I will be. So I'm just probably just gonna wrap this side skirt and then, yeah, call it a day. So before I can really do anything, I'm gonna have to remove this protective brawl and clean the whole side skirt because it is pretty dirty and I do not want to wrap the dirt underneath. Um, I remember when I was doing um, my OEM side skirts, uh, I had to take this plastic piece off and it was literally the worst thing I had to do so hard. I think just taking off this piece right here took me like two hours because that's how sticky this brawl is. So I will see you guys in two hours. Just kidding guys, it did not take two hours. That actually took maybe like 10 to 15 minutes actually. I don't know what it is. For some reason on, on my Subaru, like the plastic was just so, I don't know. I guess it wore out a lot from the sunlight, so it kept breaking on me while this one just literally held intact, which is really cool. Um, yeah, it saved me a lot of time. Kaz just came through. He's gonna let me use his stockies while he uh, puts the Meisters on for a little shoot. What's his name again? Fish. Fish? Yeah. Taking a photo shoot with Fish. It <laughs> 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 sounds kind of funny, but that's dope. You already know Kaz's car looking wet as always. Fire. I don't see any water on here, bro. Um, that fat lens. Okay. This is what you vlog in? Yup, yup. You wanna tell everyone your specs, or is that too much to ask? No, no, no. Yeah, my, what, are, what are your that, camera specs, Not bro? my lens spec, dude. Uh, dude 40, my lens spec. 40, 45 offset. Do some research, uh, bro. 10 and a half. Do some research, just <laughs> eight. This is a 2470 f2.8 Tamron DIVC USD G2. You feel me? All right, man, that's all what? I, but I won't tell you my fitment though. <laughs> I get to run Kaz's stock 17s on the Subaru. And uh, yeah, he's gonna let me run through these tires and fully send it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Look at that. Right. <laughs> that man, no, I'm just kidding. I just gotta pay for it, right? <laughs> Buy some new ones, fresh meats. Look at that fitment. Look at that gap, man. Holy cow, dude, it look hella flush. See that? Hella flush, dude. Damn, Stance Nation hit me up. <laughs> and then Kai's over here. 
Shit, look at that tire gap, full. Weak. Weak. Just kidding. It's about to look hella fire. <laughs> so since uh, since me running this whole sick like Meister M1s in front and S1s in the back, Kaz got hella jealous and was like, nah, it's my turn. So now he's got it. Check that shit out. Hella fire. Look at my M1s in front. His S1s in the rears. We're practically brothers now, bro. We share wheels, man. We share we share shoes. Works. Like literally, my shoes are actually tens. Yours are what nine and a half. You know, big feet. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Said no one ever. <laughs> but what do you got? Nine and a half, huh? But these are small as hell, dude. You're you're nine and a half. These are seven and a half. Eh? Are you serious? Oh, it's because Converse run. They run small. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, yeah. Since Kaz came by, hella distracted me from my work. Now I can get back to what this video is mainly about, which is the side skirt. I'm supposed to wrap it. Got it all nice and clean, though. I have no idea why I'm wrapping it outside. There's absolutely no light outside, so we're gonna bring it inside. guys all done honestly I did better on this side skirt or actually I did better this time around because obviously you know once when you do things more than once it, the quality turns out better it's just how it is but this one's looking way clean obviously it's not perfect up here but no one cares because you can't see it all right we got the got the homie Kaz over here the perfectionist gonna critique my work what do you think bro Damn, he notices. He noticed all the <laughs> fuck us. Damn, dude. <laughs> what do you think, man? What's the verdict? I say like six out of ten. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know what though? He's right. <laughs> Low key. I mean, this is the door covers this part. Right? Yeah, the door covers this whole part. So all you're really seeing is like this. I know I left like a little thing right there. I was like, whatever, bro. It's fine. It's cool. I if I wanted really good good work, I probably would have hit up premium model styling, but they're far as fuck. Well. Yeah. Yeah, we ain't we ain't DIY everything. Yeah, DIY everything. Bro, look, you like this line right here? Yeah, what is that? That's a livery. <laughs> look at that. What is that? Is this two pieces? <laughs> yeah, it's two pieces. <laughs> Because I didn't have a long enough piece because I let Sunny and Kevin and KT oh, like so borrow it. Yeah, so you can't cut out a long yeah one. I couldn't cut out a long one, so I was like, whatever. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, six out of ten from Cavs is pretty good. <laughs> I'd probably do worse, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good, man. This guy, this car is mint, dude. Like perfect. Hell no, Except for that boulder that hit your hood. Did you fix that yet? No. Nah. No. Just gonna it's let it. Life's not perfect. Yeah, life's yeah. What? Life's not perfect. You're right, man. <laughs> Life's not perfect. By the way, guys, if you want to know where I got um, the side skirts and the rear spats, yeah, I got them from Basin Art. They're actually reps, and they fit really, really good. I figured, dude, like, this car's my daily. I'm not going to get authentic charge speed um, parts. So I know you guys that say, oh, my God, fake parts, whatever. Like, it's cool. I'm going to swing this car anyway, so. Yeah. Nice. Thanks, bro. Basin Art kit, too. Hey, Basin Art, <laughs> baby, all the way. <laughs> I used to work there, man. That shit was bad. Was it, they, they worked, y'all. It was a sweatshop. I was a slave, dude. dude. I worked in the, in the warehouse. It was like, like yeah, no AC. Hella hot. Hella hot. Hella lifting boxes and shit. Man. Dang. Uh, they, they, I got cheap parts. So. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> I gotta appreciate Basin for the 
Cheap farts. Cheap farts? Cheap, Cheap farts. farts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tony. Let me get your opinion on my work here on this side skirt. Where? Show me. What's this? Oh. <laughs> I'll give you a five. A five? Dude, even Kaz gave me a six, what dude. Is this? You know what that's for? What? That's for the times when I miss the white, oh. I can look at it. <laughs> look at this. Wait, it's a bubble. Alright, Randy. I already saw it, I see it right now. I see all the bubbles, bro. Oh, he gave me for a lot of bubbles. <laughs> Wait, eight out of ten? So that's eight out of ten. For bubbles, eight for good bubbles. <laughs> you don't even need to buy a bubble. Hey, bro, eight, eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Ten out of ten for effort. Oh, thank you. See, you guys are. <laughs> Five out of ten. <laughs> See, is it five out of ten? Randy's a little. <laughs> Yo, what's good, everybody? It is a new day. I wanted to see if I can pick up some brand new side skirts and then finish this vlog. So I go about that today and call Basin R, which is where I actually got my carbon fiber side skirts. I call them, and it turns out that they are sold out and out of stock of all the carbon fiber charge speed replica side skirts. Which is very unfortunate, but they said they had poly, and I asked if they had the poly in stock, and the guy was like, oh shoot, we actually don't have the poly in stock. And he doesn't know when they're gonna get any more side skirts in stock, so I kinda have to take the L. So I'm gonna pull a Subi in, we're gonna install the side skirt that I just wrapped, and I think what I'm gonna do is remove all the carbon fiber parts and just kinda rock the stock body look with just the front lip for now. Um, big shout out to Nakamura on IG. I don't know his IG name specifically, but he's running stock body with just the front lip and it looks super clean, dude. Super clean, but he's so slammed to the ground. I don't know if I can pull that off just yet, but we will see. Okay, you know what guys? Things are actually starting to make some sense because these side skirts should not be this loose. <laughs> I swore I thought I put the plastic clips underneath, but apparently not. Maybe they fell off on the freeway, but this should not be that loose. So this is probably why I lost my side skirt. So in case you guys are wondering though, if you're if you're trying to remove your side skirts on your GR, or uh, I don't know what the sedan chassis code is, but if you want to remove these side skirts, there are clips underneath the side skirts that you have to remove, the ones that you use a flathead to remove, and then you're gonna need the doors open. I always start from the back, but you're pretty much just gonna pull on this part of the side skirt, and basically they're just held on with like little little uh, tabs that go in these holes right here. That's how you remove your side skirts. Sometimes you need a little bit of force because these pins are pretty good. And there we are, ladies and gents. We have the side skirt off. Just a little bit of prying. So now I have uh, one cool side skirt and one not so cool side skirt. I mean, well, they're both cool. It's just one's missing one and yeah, dude. This side skirt though is so nice. I'm so bummed that I actually lost it on the freeway. Like that is such a bummer. Okay, so the passenger side skirt is off. Looks like this side skirt is just gonna chill here until I find another pair. Don't go anywhere. Stay there, please. Don't go anywhere. All right, cool. I mean, since you guys are here, I might as well ask if you guys have like a spare driver side, you know, charge speed replica side skirt, please let me know. Because if you do, I'll buy it off you. Like, hook a brother up like right now my problem is that they're unavailable everywhere I go so if you guys happen to have one slide into my DMs and let me know please I'd really appreciate it and uh, if not it's all good I still love you guys you guys are still dope as fuck um, but yeah let's go ahead and get to these rear aprons over here I'm sure uh, a good amount of you guys are curious on how to install and remove these so I'm gonna teach you all right guys so Unlike most of you, I have the inside of the bumper right here completely exposed so I can actually see the, oh look, there's a leaf in there. <laughs> Anyways, I can access the bolts that are holding this apron right here as you can see. I can access this area because I have this bumper cut that I did, which is super awesome. I highly recommend it, but I know most of you guys won't do it, so it's all good. If you guys do happen to have this bumper cut, you can go ahead and stick your hand through this hole and access those nuts. But if you don't have this bumper cut, you're gonna have a pretty difficult time. Alrighty, so we got the apron off, got that stock rear bumper look again. And what I was trying to explain to you guys earlier is, 
So if you look at this bolt, on the bottom of this flanged bolt, there's like kind of divots, right? And what that does is um, whatever surface this bolt is pressed up against, it'll kind of grip the surface so that like say if you're trying to um, torque a nut on this side of it, when you get to where it starts actually pressing on the material you're fastening it to, the bolt won't move and the nut will kind of set itself as you're tightening it and the bolt won't move, which is really cool. Gotta love science. Oh, and uh, yeah, I kind of lost those plastic clips that hold this together too. You're gonna have one here and one here, but I'm just gonna send it with some zip ties or whatever. Well, all right. We got the side skirts and the rear aprons off, looking stock AF, but you know what? I'm cool with it. <laughs> got the front end looking really good. Fitment's still really good in front, and uh, fitment in the back's about to be really good. As soon as I get all that figured out, but stay tuned, you guys will, I don't wanna tell you right now, but you guys are gonna hear about what happened with that. And bam, these side skirts are on, and they look perfectly brand new. Here's how the rear wheel drive WRX hatch is looking. It's uh, looking stock AF, but you know what? Don't worry, don't sleep on her. She's gonna come back. She's gonna come back with a punch. You guys aren't even ready. Oh, and by the way guys, um, today's gonna mark the first vlog. I'm actually gonna start saying this. And uh, I know I do a lot of tutorials. I know I do, I know I do a lot of uh, how to's and whatnot. I'm a very informative person. So my last name is No, it's spelled N-G-O. If you don't know, now you know. Peace. <laughs>